Welcome to Well Read, a program about a little bit of this and a little bit of that at your Ames Public Library. I'm Jerry Hyde, Youth Services Manager at your library, and today we are here to talk about creativity. And that creativity starts with those words that you read on a page, those words that are in the books that you read, those words that you see everywhere um, in your world. But these are particularly ones that have been written by young adults and then we make and create even a more creative process of putting them on a, on a stage. And this is our third time doing Play With Words. And with me, I have my partners in crime, if we could say, <laughs> our, our stage that we have. And I have Carol, who is the president of Ames Children's Theater, and Sarah, um, who is the outreach coordinator at the Iowa State Center. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Well, you know, I always like to begin um, sharing with the public about who we are and who is sharing this stage with me today. Um, so Carol, can you give us a, a little bit about your past and how you got to Ames and why you're involved with Children's, Ames Children's Theater? Okay, I got to Ames a very long time ago. And uh, I came from New York City and uh, it was a bit of a, a shock to come to this community because when we came to this community, there were uh, there was no Chinese restaurants, there were no bagels, and uh, there was no C. Y. Stevens or uh, the wonderful things we have today. And but we had a library, and that was a very favorite place for the anchor. You bet. Well, it was a it was a it was a wonderful library then, and now it is even more wonderful. And so I have done a lot of things in the arts, and mostly theater arts, and. Uh, I've been part of uh, the Ames Community Theater, and Ames Community Theater was the pattern for children's theater because I was on the board of uh, uh, the Ames Community Theater actors, and we realized we needed a children's theater, and I had very teeny little boys, and, and children's theater really happened because of uh, the need and because I learned from actors. And so now it's a lot of years ago because we started it before a lot of our audience uh, was born. We started in 1968 and we're still happening. And those children as you know, I have somewhat of a bias that children make things happen in a community. Um, so how wonderful that is. That, well, I was talking um, to somebody that. in actors the other day, one of the current uh, uh, actors, board members, and she was saying that they get their adult performers who were in their, the youth are in their shows, and then the parents come, pick them up, then they audition. Then they audition. So that's how, that's essentially, uh, I mean, she was, that was just a, 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 I didn't know that happened. Yeah. But so parents are powerful as well, because the children make them and create those situations, so, right? So Sarah, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, well, I came to Iowa State and Ames a long time ago as a student, and then just we never got out of town because who could leave this community? <laughs> this you know, I mean, and in part because of C.Y. Stevens and and the Iowa State Center, which now I am blessed to work. Okay. And so, yeah, I've been there for about 16 years. I started out as a, a music student here at Iowa State, and like I said, never got out of town and have not looked back at all. And so we we're proud to be proud to be involved with this project. Well, and this project called Play With Words, thus, you know, we're playing mm -hmm. around with those words on the page mm -hmm. in many, many ways, mm -hmm. um, started many years ago, more so than I really want to think about because it's probably been five years, oh, four to five yeah. years that we started that. We started kicking around the idea. The ideas um, of helping empower our middle school students and our school children, elementary it, students to be able to be in the arts. But you know, it was variations on a theme because what had happened is uh, Sarah and I talked about possibly a collaboration between children's theater and the center and outreach. And there was a group in New York that did something like this. Mm -hmm. And we tried to connect with them. We tried to connect with them. It just wasn't happening. And then we said, we can do it. So what we did is we got the library involved. And the library was already involved in their way well, because, my, yes. because you had a writer's workshop. Right. And it was in place. So we had the writer's workshop. Children's Theater could do the production. Where do you have that show? 
where are you going to perform? Because what we're going to do is we're going to write works, we're going to adapt works, we're going to have a cast, and then where do we go? Well, oftentimes we do uh, uh, the city auditorium, we do the auditoria of, uh, well, we have none now. None now. It? Yeah. Yes, it the, was torn the, down. the school, <laughs> the, the, school uh, the, the grade schools. What is better for these children than to be in a real theater? What about Fisher Theater? What about Iowa State Center? And uh, Sarah and I collaborate or talk a lot about theater. And uh, uh huh. Mm -hmm. And so I asked, I said, what do you think? And then she and I thought, this is a great idea. <laughs> And then, and then she talked to the powers, uh, even more powerful than she, yeah. and it happened. So we, mm -hmm. that, that's, the, that's the pattern, that's the, uh, the program. We start here in the library, we move on to uh, casting and production, and then... Then we get the big time. Then we go to, we <laughs> go to Fisher. And, and how can we... But that all kind of takes some time. So. Oh my goodness, you know, when people... We laugh when people say, think that, you know, say, let's do a play. I mean, they right. watch Mickey Rooney maybe and, and, and Judy Garland and, and they want a, to be. Well, you can do a, you can do a play like that, <laughs> Very quickly. but you can also do a play that, that uh, you yeah. know, develops over it's time. Thoughtful. And then it's no, not that yeah. those aren't thoughtful. No, but yeah, people but, don't realize but that. But it does take a long time. Yeah. It takes it a long time. Not our process really takes a long time mm -hmm. because we're doing the creating and, and creating the entity. Uh, a play, oftentimes in this community, because I've been involved in several, takes six weeks from time of audition to time of production. And that's part of uh, this process right. as well. But the writing, why don't you share yeah. with us about that? How is that there, happening? There is a, another portion to get to that trying mm -hmm. out. Um, and that's going to start here in this October. Um, with a kickoff with the three of us and our author, David Zimmerman, that's going to help with our writing workshop um, where we will invite all of our, our students in sixth through 12th grade to the library and in the community to start uh, kind of an eight to 10 month long process or weekly meeting, monthly meetings um, or bi-monthly meetings of um, practicing writing and creating, but they're creating something special this time because they have a certain focus and we have a theme. What mm -hmm. is our theme? We have this a year? theme. It's fractured fairy tales. But let's talk about our facilitator. Oh, please. Yeah, yeah. we are David, so blessed. David Zimmerman, who is a professor of creative writing at the university at Iowa State University. Had, last year he was our facilitator, and he has agreed to be the facilitator. He is charismatic. I I really encourage our audience to find or seek out talented or children who, young people, we, we want middle school and, and high, high school, school area, that's Gilbert and uh, area kids, and, um, and of course <coughs> Ames, um, and, and we want them to uh, come because it's such a wonderful experience. And the, they meet, I think we say once a month right. during that period, and you don't have to come to every single one. Correct. You could write, and, and it's plays, and it's, uh, uh, it, it's, it's stories. We adapt, um, and we, last year we even had music. We had a, a young boy yeah. who, who did music. So, and let's, let's give David a plug. David has, I think, three published. Correct, he does. Three published. There was only two in the library. And this, this, is, this is one of, of David's books, and it's right here at the Ames Public Library. And, yeah. We are, we are very, very fortunate. And the, the students who participate learn so much. And we have homeschool kids too. So, uh, and we're gonna, do, we're gonna beat the bushes and, and we hope our audience too, because it's such a positive experience. And look what'll happen for a resume. You know, right. uh, a 12-year-old a, a has on her his resume that he wrote or she wrote a play that was produced at Iowa State Center. Correct. Well, and I think too mm -hmm. that it's kind of the bookends here, um, and maybe that's why we logically sat the way we did, <laughs> because you know we begin here, mm -hmm. and just as fabulous as it is to put the production on a real theater, writing 
and having someone that is a real published author, award-winning author, New York Times reviewed author, to assist you in writing um, and that person-to-person -person time is, I mean, how often does and that he happen is either? so affirming. I was yes. so, it was so wonderful to watch him work with the kids last time because just to see that cycle and to see the process and to see him help them develop their ideas, but, you know, affirming every step of the way. This is great. This is great. Have you thought of that? Or even not, I mean, just planting little seeds to how, how they can develop their story ideas. And, and it really doesn't matter if it's what the focus of the topic or the theme mm -hmm. is. He's helping them develop their overall their writing voice. skills. He's just and helping them develop their, so, yeah, their creative um, voice. And, and then... It, it, it's just it's such a wonderful process to watch him um, do that and to have the kids also come in and talk about, you know, I'm writing with David Zimmerman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that part. Yeah. So, and it's so fun to watch their minds. I, yes. mean, to, to, I mean, that's the wonderful thing about reading their works. Then you get to see what they've what's what going they, on up here going and it's, on. it's a and lot sometimes going it's on. very <laughs> surprising <laughs> and sometimes it, it, it is, mm. you know, that the greatness that we see um, in a lot of our authors. But our one of the things that we've discussed is how we had, this is our third. Correct. And there were two before and totally different, mm -hmm. totally different. Of course, there was a different uh, director on that one and different facilitator. The first one had, uh, uh, what wasn't David, right. but it was very, very successful and we were, we were worried, would the center giving us uh, essentially a, a, a gift of Fisher Theater, I mean, mm -hmm. we pay some, uh, would the center administration like what we mm -hmm. are producing? And, and we did. And, and, we they, did. and they did. And they so, did. So then we went on to do another show, but they're so different and that's what's so fun mm -hmm. and fractured fairy tales is going to be, be even, more different yet. yeah mm -hmm. be, be more so so it's and so uh, let's talk about the first one so we had a director that also kind of collaborated with the staff or the play cast to she almost create, adapted adapted the, as yeah, she went she chose she helped us choose the submissions oh we we the the uh, uh the participants have a deadline Correct. And they have two deadlines. They have one to submit for review and then their final submission. Mm -hmm. So, And that's approximately a year. So we're just mm -hmm. kicking off the writing workshop mm -hmm. in October. So, so what Susan Norris did, our director for our first production, she, uh, she took it on herself. And she, she helped us select the works. And she adapted them with the cast. Right, which was a very unique way of doing it and very creative and oh, yeah. um, it was very empowering to that whole group. Then this, two years ago, we had... Ben Schrag, who was new to the community, and he, uh, he essentially, he adapted and also he, had, he directed, but he d did it more uh, himself. He, he didn't interact as much with, with the, the students as, a, as writers, but very much so as a director. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and different. Now, uh, we we are uh, we are looking for uh, an adapter director at this point. So here you go, audience. Uh, if opportunity. You're there, <laughs> opportunity. Opportunity. Opportunity knocks. <laughs> yeah. So so we want students. So this mm -hmm. show is is recruiting students or children. Um, well, I guess they don't want to be called children, 6th through 12th grade, youth, youth to Young. write and be the creative process to work with David Zimmerman. Then we are also Children's Theater. Ames Children's Theater is looking for an adapter and director of the production that will be, you know, it sounds a long time ago, a time down the road. Oh, but, but it'll, it'll be here, be here tomorrow. You know we'll, the production will be in January of 2017. 17. So about six to eight weeks before that, we need to mm -hmm. have tryouts. And um, so it's, it's a, a quite a long process that we are all together. But mostly and let's recruit for those uh, writers. Right, so, um, so we need the writers. And so if you know some students out there that would be interested in writing or are interested in writing, or just are, you know, maybe a slight little inkling of wanting to write send them to us in october look for the calendar o october 11th october 11th at two o'clock here at the library 
upstairs in the Danfoss room and we will um, and share with them the timeline, the the outline of what we want to have happen and um, just enough of, of details to help them um, work through what needs to be done but be creative on their own. Well, you know, there are uh, uh, young people who already have stories. Correct. And so you bring a story if it could fit into the fractured fairy right. tale mm -hmm. a theme, so you could do that. But it's not a major, major commitment, of course, uh, because you don't have to be at every meeting. Right. You don't have to be, because you it can write. It just helps with the motivation yeah. and the interaction with David and to kind of mm -hmm. um, hone those skills. Yeah. But if you and want and to and come And in fact, you don't have to submit your writing for right. production on stage, but the reality is who doesn't want <laughs> Yeah, we all want to see us on stage, I mean, it's so stage, much right? fun, you know, so. Oh, and the, but and the students who write <clears throat> are not usually not the performers. Yes, the true. first year, I think we did have one mm -hmm. one young mm -hmm. woman from uh, Gilbert High School, and she did both. But generally speaking, the writers yes, are not the performers. A couple different types of personalities that way. That you know, they're. Yeah. I can still remember when we were promoting the the last one that we had the or the first one that we had the author sitting at the table very quietly. Like, yeah. And we don't want all this attention. <laughs> <laughs> and then the and actors are like, like, all Give over the place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> where's my costume? <laughs> yes. So my good size. It, yeah. it is a wonderful collaboration and I want to publicly thank um, um, you all to, to include, you know, in, in including the library and, and um, giving us this opportunity to be, to be a partner with all of you. Um, and so, Carol and Sarah, thank you for coming today. And this is um, the published version of the first. Share what uh, we do. Share what, what we do. do. So we do have it on the shelf. So if you want to take a look at what we have done mm -hmm. in the past, you sure can do that. Moms and dads are welcome to do that as well. It mm -hmm. is located in the young adult area. But we do like to play with words in the library. That is kind of a characteristic of um, when you come into the library. We are playing with the words in the story time room, on the stage, um, on the shelf, um, and just sharing them with all of you. So please come on in. Um, think about sending a creative person into our creative writing process that begins in October and be a part of the playing with words. And thank you for watching.